Welcome to our documentary about the North American human male. As with all species on our planet, habits, experiences, and cultural customs vary from region and social surroundings. We've decided to focus our short film on Frank Rizzo. Frank wakes up each morning bright and early to tackle the day. For this specific North American man, Frank enjoys starting his day with a vigorous workout. Workouts are never the same as Frank refuses to write any routine down and will often do whatever strikes him as needing attention, usually free weights, which are dangerous, for if he were to drop a weight on himself, it could mean certain death. And if that doesn't kill him, his wife Shiloh certainly would, purely for being an idiot and lifting too much unsupervised. After physical exercise, the grooming ritual takes place behind closed doors, but you will notice the bizarre markings on our subject's back. These are the results of a poorly supervised youth and bad decisions. Grooming complete, Frank begins his lonesome journey to Atlantic to begin his day of work. It is at this time that Frank contemplates the previous day and recounts any observations or stories that may be of interest to those in neighboring tribes that may be listening to his broadcast. At arrival, a screening must be complete to ensure the health of the workplace heard. After a satisfactory health screening, it's time for Frank to get to work. Bit of bad news to report this morning on KSOM. Pizza chain Chuck E. Cheese is asking a court for permission to purchase and destroy 7 billion prize tickets produced for its game machines. The 612 location restaurant declared bankruptcy in June and said the tickets were printed prior to the bankruptcy, but suppliers hadn't yet been paid and the tickets had yet to be delivered. Chuck E. Cheese is asking court's permission to spend $2.3 million to purchase and destroy the 7 billion tickets, which are worth about $9 million in prizes. Where I run into a problem. Seven billion tickets are worth about 48 cents in prizes when you take into account that you can get 16 erasers, four pop and stops, and uh, well, I think you might be able to get a yo yo if, if you don't get so many erasers. Finished with his work, Frank makes his way back home. This time of year is one of our subject's favorites. The scenes and smells of harvest indicate that autumn is around the corner. As Frank arrives at his dwelling, he knows that he must again prove his physical dominance as the family patriarch. Having lost the challenge of his offspring, Frank is now thrown from the family grouping and must survive on his own. And this wraps up the delve into the day of the North American male, at least this one's typical day.